Bridge Tunnel. Obviously in the tunnel part right now. Often we're just driving down the road and we come across something interesting. And that's what we did here. Now it's the Page Library, but in the 1800s it was the Tavern and Stagecoach Stop. Here's the old pump. There's a pretty old birch there too. And in the back's an herb garden. Now if you're traveling on Route 33 in Mount Pillar, Virginia, you might find this too. We wonder what these used to be. Back in the 1940s and 50s, when people were in their cars more often, along the road would be picnic tables where they could stop and have lunch. Most of those are gone now, but not all of them. And there's a commemorative stone here to E. Barber Pendleton, M.D., from 1956. Such a pretty setting. Isn't this a beautiful home? And it's in the very colorful settlement of Cuckoo. Cuckoo was a landmark for travelers in the 1800s. This marker tells us about Jack Jouet's ride. Paul Bevere was the only one to warn that the British were coming. Check this out. How often do you see one of these in somebody's front yard? The town of Louisa is historical and pretty. This is the courthouse and the county museum. There's historical churches. The town of Louisa is in the county of Louisa. There's a little shopping district. This one looks like fun. Patrick Henry lived here. This is the Louisa County Historical Society building. This is another pretty church. It's been added on to. This looks like Lawyer's Row. Here's the churchyard. There's some beautiful homes here. This beautiful structure is the Boxley Place Inn. Our highway is changing from the Jefferson Highway to the James Madison Highway. The little town of Gordonsville. Madison Highway or the Barbersville Ruins. Here they are, designed by Thomas Jefferson, built by Governor James Barber in 1814 and destroyed by fire on Christmas Day, 1884. We can only look from afar. This is the 1804 cottage. It's available to stay in. This must have been beautiful. You can see the fireplace or where it used to be up there. Where the staircase was. Well, this was a find, and we could have easily missed it. The grounds surrounding the house must have been quite spectacular in their day. 
Nice views of the mountains. Wasn't that fun? We're passing through Shenandoah National Park. This morning in Harrisonburg, we're going to walk through the Edith Pickler Arboretum. Now this is a native preserve, so most of the plants that we see here are going to be native plants. The daylily's pretty. And so are the shamrocks. Black-eyed Susans or brown-eyed Susans are very common wildflowers in West Virginia and Ohio, Pennsylvania, and many of the other states. Oh, what a tranquil setting. Pretty. This rock garden not only has native plants, but also native rocks. The shale. If you come in the spring, more flowers will be blooming because they are native plants and their bloom time is springtime. These pretty. Just a walk in the woods. And the forest floor is interesting. This is Fern Valley. And some really pretty toadstools. The canopy's pretty too. A bit of a climb. And we're climbing and climbing. Except for the background noise, we'd never know we were just steps from the highway. It's an easy trail and there's plenty of benches along the way. This is a painless way to get a little exercise. It's even fun. These are butterfly bushes. Mm, if you could just smell the petunias. <laughs> 